Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. Before I begin, I would like to say thank you um, to everyone who has liked, shared, subscribed, and who has donated to this channel. Also, thank you to everyone who has purchased a reading with me. This is for the sign of Capricorn for the month of April or from the time you view this video. These events could be in play. Please keep in mind, it is a general reading. That means it will not resonate with each and every one of you. If these first few cards do not uh, speak to your situation, then most likely the message is not for you. So let's begin. For the person you are thinking of romantically, I feel like... Um, <laughs> Uh, you know, I feel like you ha you haven't heard from this or or you haven't contacted this person because they seem to be waiting on you or waiting on news from you. Um, they don't know which foot to stand on. It's like, um, shouldn't I, shouldn't I? And they want to do really do the right thing because, uh, as you know, they clearly understand that <laughs> for every decision they make, there's a consequence, right? They don't know um, which foot to stand on. Um, and I think that's because they don't really know how you're feeling or what you are feeling. You see, they've been waiting on news and there hasn't been any news, whoever this is for, because our eight of rods is in the reverse and you see the page of rods here and he's looking over that fence. He's waiting on news that hasn't come. And he's finding it very challenging with this Knight of Swords energy here. This person is feeling left out in the cold, but yet they're unable to release you. Um, you know, maybe you're dating somebody else, or maybe you're with somebody else. Um... Dreaming Johnny, this is somebody who's, you know, walking with their head up in the clouds and um, as you can clearly see, there's a piece of the path missing and uh, they're about to take a fall. So you could be feeling um, that perhaps, you know, it's, it's uh, self-deception waiting uh, on this news, like maybe... Um, you're never going to contact them or they won't hear from you, but they can't release you. They don't feel that it's over. But, you know, it's like, maybe I'm just dreaming. Maybe it's, it's just me. You see, this person, they want another chance with you. Uh, we have judgment sitting here. You, uh, you could have struggled with this person in the past. You could have had an argument with this person in the past and, you know, went your separate ways. And they really thought, though, that they would hear from you again. Uh, but, but they haven't. But they're waiting on it, expecting it. They want to, what they're planning is, um, they want, <laughs> they want to change things up because things are, are just like at a standstill for them. Things just aren't moving. Um, and they're unable to bring, uh, or have that balance, uh, or feel balanced emotionally, um, They could be a very, um, like a lot of anxiety, worried, because they feel that by, you see, if they move forward and put an ending to this or try to attempt to put an ending to the stagnation they're feeling, they fear you're going to turn your nose up at their offer. They're unsure. You see, these are these people here have crawled on their hands and knees to present this offer. 
and that person's looking down their nose at it. And that, I feel, is what they feel you might do to them. This is a card of affliction, being unable to move forward at this time for them. And we saw that over here in these cards. What is influencing this type of behavior is the sun is in the reverse. Um, so there's lack of clarity. There's confusion. They're not sure. Um, they're lacking confidence. The queen of rods is in the reverse. Um, it could be that you either, because we do have this five of coins here and we have the three of cups over here, you could be dating somebody or, you know, you could be um, in a relationship uh, committed to somebody and this could be why. Or you could be somebody who's very popular and maybe they're lacking this confidence. Or maybe, you know, it was something that they did that caused that argument in the past. And um, maybe this is why they lack the confidence. Maybe this is why they fear you may not take them back. At any rate, they do want another chance. Um, they're still in the position of a possible outcome. We have confusion, wanting to make the right choice. And uh, we have that. That's how we started, wanting to make the right choice, not knowing what to do So, um, and not releasing. Here we had death in reverse. Now here we have the Ten of Swords in reverse. And you see this, um, this king, his back is turned to that Ten of Swords. And he's looking in this book, perhaps, trying to find a solution to his problem. He could be um, remembering something, and he's remembering something uh, pleasant because he's got this, just a slight smile on his face, pouring over the memories, resisting the end. We have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, and the Chariot, once again, appears in the reverse. So. Um, and then we have the magician also in the reverse. So, you know, I feel that they're, they're lacking confidence um, in themselves, um, lacking confidence with being able to, or with you, that you would take, uh, or with the situation, because they feel for some reason that like you're going to turn their nose up at their offer. Feeling stuck. Uh, with the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Karmic lessons not being learned. Karmic lessons not being learned. Um, so this person is basically stuck, is what these cards are saying. They're unable to come to terms um, with this ending they really thought that you were going to contact them um, after whatever this challenging energy was of the Knight of Swords, um, but you haven't. And this has left them somewhat confused and uh, lacking confidence. But judgment is here. And so we know that they do want this second chance. They want to bring something back to life. But they're lacking the courage and the confidence to approach you. They're hoping that you will approach them or give them news, is what I uh, pick up from this reading. 
So I thank you so much for watching and many blessings. Bye for now.